Tony Swan's role in New Age during the second season of Reacher lends credence to a key villain idea. In Burial, the fifth episode of season two of Reacher, Jack Reacher, and the remaining members of the 110 Special Investigators resume their search for the people who murdered their former colleagues. With the confirmation of George Sanchez and Manuel Orozco's deaths following Calvin Franz's murder, all eyes are focused on learning the truth regarding Swan's New Age affiliations. Whether he genuinely betrayed the special investigators is one aspect of that. Jack doesn't waver in his faith in Swan, even when the rest of the team is beginning to believe that he has turned evil. Jack, Carla Dixon, David O'Donnell, and Francis Neagley divided up to expedite their investigation in Burial, the fifth episode of Reacher Season 2. Neagley and Dixon travel to Denver to visit New Age's second plant, where their weapons are manufactured, while Jack and O'Donnell follow up with Joe Reacher's contact at Homeland Security. Surprisingly, the former learns some important information, but the latter encounters some enemies and gains additional information that implicates Swan even more. How trustworthy is that information is the question. The most recent cargo of missiles has just been sent out when Neagley and Dixon arrive at New Age's factory, prompting them to pursue the missiles through Denver's freezing streets. More evidence of Swan's villainy is revealed to them when they face up against Am's thugs and discover that Swan signed off on the delivery. Given this and the fact that they have discovered his affiliation with the New Age, it appears that Swan is involved in Shane Langston's weapon smuggling operation. But in terms of storytelling, it seems like too much of a given to be the major plot twist of Reacher Season 2. Further flashbacks from their time as the 110 Special Investigators are shown in Reacher Season 2, Episode 5, as Jack struggles to accept the thought that one of his own men was responsible for the horrific deaths of his other men. Swan deflected a bullet meant for Jack with his own body during one of their drug arrests. It is even harder for Jack to think Swan would betray any of his co-workers because of the recollection. But with the evidence against him growing, it's also becoming harder and harder to defend him. Nevertheless, there's still a method to account for the 110 Special Investigators' connection to New Age's illicit activities. Swan did not necessarily do it voluntarily or to the extent that he did, even if he signed off on the delivery documents. According to an intriguing notion, Horton's Fields might be involved in the entire plan, since it forges a personal bond between him and the 110 Special Investigators. He is ideal for the role of Reacher Season 2's hidden villain. Even though Langston is frightening, he isn't as interesting as someone who has collaborated with Jack or any of his members because he hasn't previously known them. In Picture Says a Thousand Words, the third episode of Reacher's second season, Hortense's entrance seemed forced and awkward. Unless there was a more significant purpose for his debut, namely the person posing as Swan during Jack's investigations into his men's debts, there was no narrative requirement for his presence. It's established that Langston and his associates are all former law enforcement officers, therefore connecting a military police officer like Fields to their scheme. Strangely, Swan is still nowhere to be found in Season 2 of Reacher. If he is indeed the antagonist of the story, there is no need to keep him hidden, given the overwhelming amount of evidence that points against him. Am and Langston have been heavily featured in the Amazon Prime video series. In fact, they even make a phone call together. Had Swan been involved in their operations, his relationships with the other evil men should have been made clear in Reacher Season 2. The narrative can then shift from identifying the villains to detailing Jack and his group's strategy for eliminating them. The fact that Swan is still kept a secret in Reacher Season 2 shows that Swan's affiliation with New Age goes beyond simply being Langston's friend. It would be foolish to write him off as a villain, despite his lack of physical characteristics, especially in light of Jack's belief that every member of the 110 Special Investigations Unit is reliable. By now, Reacher Season 2 has made a point of stressing how strong the team was and that it's safer to believe that Swan, like Franz, Orozco, and Sanchez, stuck with the team through thick and thin.